Hello everyone, and welcome to this unboxing video for Kingdom Death Easter 2019 order. This time around, we've got a new set of dice, because yay, more dice. The Twilight Pinup Night Plastic Version, and Easter Aya. As a quick note, I did miss out on the Death High Miko. Eh, I slept through the sale. Oh well, I got the stuff with mechanics. Makes me happy. So, we're going to start with the dice as usual. This is, just like with all the other sets, a set of Kingdom Death dice. So, they're D10s with the 10 replaced, or 0, replaced with a lantern. Because, yes, D10s have a 0 to represent them, as they're supposed to function as D100s. Or half of it. Come on, box. There we go. Now I'm pulling the tray of dice out. So it's a creamsicle yellow and pink. With yellow being the primary color, as you can see, and it's five numbered dice and four hit locations, each one having a reverse color, as per usual. Then we've got the pinup Easter Twilight Night. Now I didn't realize this was a plastic version. I thought this was the resin version, because a friend of mine's been wanting to actually do a cosplay of this, and has been wanting to see the model up close, and while we've been asking people to show us pictures of the model, I just wanted to get it, because she'd be happy to see it and use it as a point of reference. I was ecstatic to find out later, through some odd conversations online, this is the plastic version, because it comes with a card, which I'm a little iffy about, but we'll get to that. So, there is her art card, which is exactly the same image on the front. She's got Easter Bunny-like things and eggs on the base. She's got her lantern, the twilight sword, and bunny-like things chewing at her, which actually have names now, but we'll get to that later. Then, she's a single space base, and here is the actual model on the sprue. Again, a custom base. And everything is there. Legs, body, the monsters. We're back to breasts being we're back to breasts being a individual piece for the both of them. Not each. Which, yeah. And then we've got a new firming card of first. Which is the bunny like monsters, which are yeah, really odd. Gibbering hair mite. Vermin consumable. When you gain this, unless you consume it immediately, it latches on and removes all your headgear armor points. That's different from losing the armor piece itself, although with the skull helmet, that's really close. Like, you take any damage your head after that, it is gone. If this is in the settlement storage, when survivors depart, add another to the storage and suffer minus one population. Reproduces like rabbits and eats people in the process. If you consume this, archive this and roll a 1d10. 1 through 3, the hair mite's jaw unhooks and swallows your head whole. You die. 4 through 5, dissolves in your mouth, plus 3 survival. 6 plus, so 50-50. Gain 1 permanent movement. No once per lifetime, you can just stack it. So, high chance of death, not as high as the insects, but... Also, movement. Technically, if you really were, had the excess population, you could just build these things up and eat them in mass. Then, we move on to Easter Aya. Again, Aya is kind of the mascot of characters for King Death itself, next, uh, or at least the humanoid ones, because otherwise it would be the Watcher. As he's on the box. So this is uh, another one of the holiday large models that then has a smaller playable model. So we've got her art card, which is just a closer up version of the image on the front. She does come with a gear card, we'll get to that later. And it looks like instead of putting them on one sprue, they put the two models on their own individual sprues. It also looks like the larger model has a lot more 
mass value pieces, whatever you want to word it as, to it. Mainly because of the base. Now, as per usual, the larger model is a four space model and the smaller model is a one space model. Here is the larger model. So it's got a mostly flat base with some like dirt and stuff on it. The base then is primarily made up of a bunch of these eggs, which is what's taking up a lot of the room, some stars, a carrot top kind of thing, her legs, her hair, her face. There's this bunny-like thing, which it looks like a stuffed bunny in this one and then looks like a standing bunny in another. Oh, and more hair. That's going to be annoying. Speaking of the other, here it is. So here's the base itself, which is very similar to the other one in the sense that it will have a few eggs on it. Uh, and there's the bunny creature, and it actually looks like it's walking. The legs and the torso. There's a few carrots, which I'm guessing are actually to represent the gear. And then the actual thing that is the gear. The ancient root. And quick note, not promo, so we'll get to how to get it after I go over it. It is a left blue affinity item, vegetable, heavy, consumable, other. Just like most of the other mini expansion, like single card gear. When you are picked as a target while insane, the carrot shrieks fearfully. Roll a 1d10. On a 1, the shrill sound stuns you. You are doomed for the rest of the monster's action. On a 6+, plus, so again, 50-50, the harsh note alters you. Ignore the first hit on the monster's attack. So it's a 50-50 chance that you just go, I basically get one block, but it's a 1 in 10 on the other side that you're doomed and can't do anything. How to get this. During the Black Harvest, which is, I believe, from the Dung Beetle Knight is what that looks like, so you need the Dung Beetle Knight expansion for this one. If the Gatherer is insane, they follow a shrill echo into the darkness. A fleshy stalk quivers in the ground. Its muffled shrieking begs to be uprooted. Gain the Ancient Root Rare Gear card. Not unique, either. This is actually seems really awesome if you're okay with that 1 in 10 you know, it's potentially Doom, and also it's only got one affinity, although left blue affinity is always nice. So, yeah, this actually seems pretty useful. I've never actually read Black Harvest, so I don't know if there's any real consequences to chancing it, but hey, okay, they're insane. I don't know if that's bad while doing it, and if it's not, free stuff on top of whatever else you would get. I think that's the Calcify gear thing. I'm not too sure. Regardless, that's everything this time around. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to press the like button. If you think somebody else will enjoy this, please share this video. Either way, you'll help this video get seen more. And if you didn't like this video, go ahead and press the dislike button. I won't mind, but please leave a constructive comment as to why. Also, feel free to comment in general, such as if you want to see any of these models painted earlier than I would normally get around to them, or if you'd like to hear me talk about any of these in more detail, such as the gear itself, both of my more detailed thoughts on what you can do with it or how it can match up, what kind of problematic or good things it can bring. And if you want to see more like this, be that unboxing videos, my board game overview videos, or my painting videos, all three of which I do for Kingdom Death Monster, feel free to subscribe. Regardless, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.